hello guys and welcome back again to my channel in, in this cool video someone has requested a 90 degrees 6, six liter uh, v6 engine with twin turbo i'm gonna make it it's it's easy it's easy to do but he didn't he didn't tell me if he wants the engine a as a as a racing the engine or a performance engine or a daily driving engine he didn't tell me that so i'm gonna presume i'm gonna just um I mean, doing an easy and a racing engine is so easy. Just uh, put twin turbos on it, boost the hell out of it, and it's it it's gonna make a ton of horsepower. But making a reliable daily driving engine or reliable uh, performance engine, that's the challenge. So I I'm not gonna take the easier road. I'm gonna take the the challenging road because I like to make challenging engines. Okay, so if if I want to make it. Uh, a 90 degrees 6 uh, v6 i'm gonna make it aluminium oh, or aluminium silicon which one do you think it's best okay let's stick with aluminium for uh, lower budget so cast aluminium or aluminium block uh, we need to put the board to the max and drop it till we uh, right now we have six liter perfectly six liter or six thousand and one cc dual overhead cam um or single overhead cam do you think which one should no I think let's stick with dual overhead cam because um, dual overhead cams will will give you much more uh, valve uh, we, we call it the you know the valve distance to the max rpm so the power will, will not drop when you hit a, a max rpm right so dual overhead cam four valves per cylinder so because I'm gonna use the variable valve lift Aluminium also variable valve lift. Okay, so this one it should be a performance engine. So I'm gonna use the forged I beam steel and lightweight forged, so I, I can uh, hit a, a good max RPM. Or should I use forged? Let's stick with forged because they are they are more reliable than lightweight forged. So. This is gonna be a performance engine. I'm not gonna. I'm not going max quality, but plus five is good. So, um, what next we use? All right, nine. No, let's make it ten point one to one compression ratio. Let's stick with the sixty-five cam. No, no, no. Sorry, I'm using a VVL profile. So sixty-five here, and let's say twenty here, because I'm gonna make this engine smooth and nice at low RPMs and torquey of course and at high rpm the engine will scream mad variable valve timing for all cams plus five quality and yes the magic here as jeremy clarkson would say uh, the exhaust spins out uh, spins the turbocharger and witchcraft happens and you go faster yes what a legend so twin turbocharger ball bearing of course medium <coughs> Um, okay, let me let me click on performance first. Then I'm gonna tweak it to make it better. So plus five again. Injection, direct injection, twin performance, and premium 95. Because this this, this engine would go in a car and the car will drive on the road, and uh, the availability of uh, 95 is better than the 98. Maybe I think in Britain or European countries, yes, they have 98, but in general, 95 is more available or cheaper than 98. So let's stick with the 13.5 fuel mixture, mixture and ignition timing 50, the RPM limit. Now this is where the magic happens. I'm afraid to go high and this engine will explode, so I'm gonna stick with 7000, which is good, plus 5 again. Dual and the, the exhaust diameter. It says here max power 520, 600, 700. Three way, high flow, three way, reverse flow, and straight throw. The engine is freaking knocking. Yes, let's, let's decrease the boost because 10 pound of boost is just enough for this uh, engine so i can make it reliable also mm -hmm. so let's make let's make some magic 600 horsepower should be more than in let's see if let's see if i will, if I will make a 
if, I'm, if I was making a, uh, a, a an eco engine, I would make the turbo a more small, but this is not an eco engine. So I'm gonna make it... Yes, that's better. Starting from 2800. 11 pound of boost. Now let's stick with 10. Do we need a larger intercooler? Yes, we need one. Because this engine is freaking big. I'm gonna stick with 600 for the for the turbocharger, yes. So I can make this engine uh, more economical, more reliable, and uh, doesn't need much cooling. Yes, and with 10 pound of boost, it will be perfect for a street engine. Yes, now we have 614 horsepower. Perfect. I can make it go higher, but I don't want to make the exhaust the exhaust humongous. I'm gonna make it look. I'm gonna make it look. As you can see, the exhaust is now perfect. I mean, yes, I can increase the, the size of it and make more power, but no, the, the exhaust now is perfect for the economy and the everything and everything else. All right, I forgot the quality of the exhaust. Plus five again. Yes, plus five. So now we have 610 horsepower, which is good, which is very good for a street engine. Can we do? Yes, I can go higher in the RPM, but, but as you can see, the, the, the power will drop. It will drop because of the, the valves. Let's see how much I can... So 693, 623, sorry. So 40, 40 is perfect for the CAM profile and a 71 for the VVL profile. As you can see, we have 600 pound feet of torque, which is amazing. Right, push the timing. So 632 brake horsepower or horsepower. Let's make it throttle per cylinder. Now it's perfect. 655 horsepower. I know some of you will say, "Oh, look, this engine is six liter. Why, why it doesn't make more horsepower?" Right now, 655 horsepower is perfect the rpm is not now the 7300 is good because the power stops at 7200 what else should we use what else should we use my friends tell me no yes 42 made the torque fly higher Plus six, plus six, plus six, of course, plus six again, and plus six. So 660. Perfect. 663 is, a, is, a, is an awesome, awesome figure or an awesome horsepower for this kind of engine. So we have one horsepower per liter, or no, we have. 1.1 or how can how can I do the calculation okay let's say 100 horsepower per liter 100 horsepower per liter yes that's correct let's listen to it let's listen to it and enjoy it
So guys, as you saw, the engine is making a ton of power, a ton of power, and the engine is uh, reliable. As you can see, 84 points. The engine is somehow econ economical because 23, 23 and a half percent. Um, for a turbocharged performance engine, yes, it's good, but for a for an eco engine, no, it's not good. And the responsive for a street performance engine, yes, it's good, 58 percent. The smoothness, meh. It's a it's a sport engine. It doesn't have to be smooth. The emissions, yes, the emissions are high, but let me see. Yes, I'm using the best one, but the emissions are still a bit high because you know uh, the extra fuel and the boost and everything. Yes, will make the engine produce more emissions. Right. So I have a question, guys, for you to answer. I want you to answer me in the comment section. Before I made this video, before I make this video, or before I made this video, I did the Chevy LS2 V8 engine, which also is a six-liter V8. This is the V6. So, which one do you prefer? Tell me, guys. This is a six-liter, of course, like like that uh, V8. I mean that the, the V8 is a, is a tiny bit smaller. The V8 was 5,967 cc. This is 6,000 cc. But that V8 made uh, 412 horsepower. This one made 663 horsepower because of the turbos. So which one do you prefer? Are you a V8 guy, naturally aspirated, or a V6? guy with twin turbos which one do you prefer and uh, by the way this one uh, this one is more economical yeah for, uh, from the uh, v8 this one is more economical the v8 was making 18 percent this is 23 percent it more more economical so it's your choice do you prefer the uh do, 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 or do you prefer the na naturally breathing engine i mean i love v8 the sound of them are amazing but i think turbocharging is the future here a silly v6 can make 200 horsepower more 200 and and 50 247 horsepower more than a v8 why because of boost magic look at these beautiful turbos so you, you tell me guys in the comment section do you prefer v8 naturally aspirated or or any or any naturally aspirated engine or do you prefer the boosting monstrosity boosting is just amazing i wish i wish in future updates that uh, automation will make a, a humongous supercharger here that you can put because superchargers are awesome also Thank you so much guys for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button and uh, if you are not if, if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe because I post daily videos, daily automation automation videos, daily car mechanics and simulator videos. So you, you, your choice. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please hit that like button again and subscribe for more. I will see you in another cool cool request. Bye bye.